If your air conditioner is not cooling like it used to, it may need a cleaning. In this video, we'll show you how to take apart this GE air conditioner, but they're all very similar. This is going to be a deep cleaning disassembly. First line of defense is to change the filter once or twice a year, pull hard, and you'll, you should see a filter inside. But this machine needs more than just cleaning a filter. We've already cleaned this one. To remove this front panel, you simply pull straight up on it, and it will unhinge completely so you have full access. With the unit completely unplugged, we're now ready to remove this front frame with the four screws. One, two, three, and here's the fourth. To remove the frame, unsnap it by pushing the side of the unit first. To remove the top, don't pull on it, just lift it up straight and it'll come right off. There's five screws on this side and on the other side, there's only four. So we'll go ahead and remove these screws. And next are the two screws at the top at the back. And now pull the wings back until you can fold them out of the way. And now the whole case will lift off. The goal is to get to the back of this coil and this coil. Now we're removing this plastic shell from around the back coils. And we're doing that by removing these two screws and there's one underneath this foam that we'll be removing, as well as down on the base. Here's the screw that's under the foam, and so you can just push right through with your screwdriver right through that foam to remove it. This one will be a little rusty. The bottom one may be pretty rusty. You might have to get it with a vice grip from underneath. Now it will unscrew. It's hard to get a screwdriver down there for that second screw, so we're just going to get it from below with the pliers. Just remember you're turning this in reverse because we're working from the bottom instead of the top. It is possible to get that screw, but it's really tight. On this side, there's one screw at the top and then some plastic tabs down below. You might have to pry a little bit with the screwdriver, but don't pry against the coils. They're very soft. To get to the squirrel cage, we'll pull this foam up. Before we lift out this whole assembly, we need to cut a couple plastic zip ties. Now we can lift the whole assembly and set it aside. Now you can see all the dirt that needs to be cleaned out. To see how dirty it is, you can shine a flashlight through and look from the other side. You should be able to see the light come right through. And now we'll check the front coils. We've had this unplugged the whole time and now we're covering this and all the electronics with plastic bags. Be careful not to touch anything on the inside here. That's a capacitor back there and even unplugged, it holds a lot of power. I'm going to give a quick sweep in the direction of the fins so any of this loose stuff can just brush out of here. Now we'll spray this clean with a garden hose and a little bit of dish detergent. You don't want to use a power washer, it would be way too much pressure. Dish soap will work. Diluted. and put some soapy water on it. To remove these coils, we need to remove these two screws on the bottom. They might be pretty corroded, so you might need to tap the back of your screwdriver with a hammer. Now we can lift this up very carefully and set it on the edge but we're doing it very gently because we don't want to bend any of the copper pipes that's all connected, but this will give us access now to wipe underneath. There can be quite a bit of debris underneath the coils. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Now we'll lift this up and get it cleaned up. It may not be necessary, but you can carefully work the foam piece out as well. It's a lot easier to clean now. A lot of the cleaners for these coils contain 
sodium hydroxide. We would not recommend using pure sodium hydroxide. It's a very dangerous chemical, but there are plenty of products out there that contain sodium hydroxide. They come in a foam spray and they're um, mixed at the right ratios. And you can see this is the effectiveness of using sodium hydroxide versus um, the detergent or soap spray that was done previously. Now this has turned kind of a blue color and that does look just like these other coils which um, are already relatively clean. So the problem with um, the foam spray cleanser is you do need to make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions closely because if you leave it on too long it will actually eat through. It has the potential to eat through the aluminum and cause damage instead of just cleaning. So be sure you're watching um, and following the instructions on the manufacturer's package. We can use a grill brush to scrape the fins in an upward pattern along with the direction of the fins. We would not want to scrape sideways because that will bend the fins and definitely affect the airflow negatively. You can also use compressed air to dislodge a lot of debris. Um, just don't use anything over 30 PSI. Now we'll clean all the plastic pieces, including the fan. Now that it's all cleaned up, we'll start putting it back together. To get this last tab in, it's best to have the coils at an angle. We'll let it all dry out thoroughly in the sun. It's a lot cleaner now, and we can put everything back in reverse order. That's how you clean a GE window air condition unit.